Hi, boys and girls. This week's challenge is the speech bubble challenge. But we can also use thought bubbles. I'll come back to that. When we think of speech bubbles, there are many authors that have used speech bubbles, such as Dave Pilkey, the creator of Captain Underpants, and many other books along that line, such as Dogman and Super Diaper Baby. And of course, how could we forget our class favorite Mo Willems, who is known for Pigeon Books, and of course, our Piggy and Gerald, and many other characters. For this week's challenge, you'll have several choices. Choose the one that's the best fit for you. Choice number one Create one picture that tells us a story. Use speech bubbles or even thought bubbles. In this case, I drew a cat with both a thought bubble and a speech bubble. I want milk is the way that the cat's thinking, but he's really yelling meow. And the owner knows exactly what the cat wants. Create your own picture. Choice number two. Using a folded sheet of paper in four ways. Create your own comic. Don't forget, plan each square and then draw and write some big, beautiful speech bubbles to go with those amazing pictures. If you need room, you can always use the back. For those that would love to take on the challenge, they can do a six-way fold. Or make your own comic book using any kind of paper folded in any direction. You choose what is the best fit for you. Choice number three is the Speech Bubble Photobomb Challenge. In this challenge, you're going to create either a thought bubble or speech bubble or both. Make sure it says something in it and you can see it very clearly. In this case, I have I am hungry with a thought bubble and what's up in a speech bubble. We're going to bring something to life or make something funny in this challenge. With a piece of tape on the back, I'm going to connect it to a pencil. And in this case, all I have is a marker. So that's going to have to do. You're going to bring something to life. It can be a stuffy, like in this case. He says, I'm hungry. Funny, huh? Or my plastic elephant. What's up? Or even something silly like a can of corn. What's up? Funny, huh? Oh, yes, boys and girls. And one more thing. No matter which challenge you choose, you can do as many as you want. Don't forget to take a pick. That is really important. Send it to your teacher. Have fun. Good luck, guys. Bye. I'm hungry.